So I received a question from a woman who goes by the name of Mary. Her question is, Keith, I no longer feel in love with my husband. How do I get those feelings back when he doesn't appreciate me? Well, Mary, you might not like my answer to your question, and my answer would only apply if you are indeed a professing Christian, and I do believe you are since you are subscribed to my channel. The question you just asked applies to those who are lost. We as Christians don't rely on our feelings. We live by faith, and our faith points us to the written word of God. So my question to you is, have you sought counsel in the word of God? Have you tried to find out what your Bible says about your predicament? What does your pastor have to say about your predicament? My advice to you, Mary, is to find out what the Bible says about your role in marriage and then to do it. Now, I don't know if your husband is lost or saved, but if you are a person of prayer, take your issue to the Lord in prayer. Do you honestly believe you serve a God who answers prayer? That's an important question, not just for people going through marital issues, but also people who are Christians living day to day. Are we people of prayer? Do we really believe God answers prayer? Now, I want to go ahead and play a clip of Vody Balkan pretty much admonishing men in marriage, but I do believe the same could be applied to wives as well in regards to emotion. So I hope you do take something away from this video. Hi, Vody. Hello. How are you? <laughs> <laughs> wow. Where are you going, Miss Hannah? Nowhere. Hey, you, how can we greet her nicely? What? You greeted her nicely. Greet me nicely? Yeah, better than me. Because he likes me. Because she came out with the paparazzi thing. You like Every day that happens. Every day. Literally. Don't hate. I look men dead in their eye. Go home and love your wife. No, you don't understand. We're just not in love anymore. I didn't ask you to be in love. I said go home and love your wife. The Bible commands you to. Husbands, love your wives. You're commanded to. Well, no, no, you just, I just, no, I just don't feel like that. Okay, fine. The Bible says love your neighbor as yourself. Your wife is your closest neighbor. Go love her because she's your closest neighbor. Yeah, well, she's not even my closest neighbor. I moved out. That's fine. Jesus said, by this all men will know that you're my disciples, that you have love one for another. So love her because she's your sister in Christ. Well, I don't even know if she's saved. That's fine. The Bible says love your enemies. <laughs> it is absolutely inexcusable for a man who follows Christ to stop loving his wife. It's a choice. It's an act of the will. And we walk away because we don't have a biblical worldview. And we say things like, well, I'm just not happy. And I just don't believe that God would want me to stay in a marriage and be unhappy. Are you serious? Let me see if I understand this correctly. Jesus Christ, the spotless, sinless Lamb of God, was crushed and killed for the glory of the Father, but you, he wouldn't want unhappy. got to suck it up and go home. <laughs> it is an act of the will. It is a choice. It is accompanied by emotion. Which means, ladies, it's not led by emotion. That's that teenage girl love. Oh my God, I love him. <laughs> which ought to always be followed by this week. <laughs> Amen. Amen. And men, it, it, it's not void of emotion. Biblical love is not void of emotion. And again, I talk to, I hear this from guys all the time. Like they can sell that stuff to me. I'm just not an emotional man. I'm just more of an analytical type. And she wants me to be emotional and I'm just not a very emotional man. That's a lie from the pit of hell. Well, well, well what do you mean? You, I mean, you don't even know me that well and you're calling me a liar. And I just said I'm not a very emotional man. Why are you upset that I called you a liar if you're not emotional? Because here's another one I know. When you're out on the golf course and you shank one, you don't just stand there and say, I seem to have hit that one poorly. <laughs> you watching the ball game and your team getting beat like a tied up goat? 
You don't just sit there and say, they seem to have far more points than we do at this time. Right? And if you went to work tomorrow and your stuff was on the sidewalk with a pink slip, you wouldn't stand there and say, well, I really have enjoyed my tenure. A man who looks at his wife and says he's just not emotional is actually saying to her, you don't matter as much as my golf game, my favorite team, or my job. 